This is the Moto 360 Gen 1. And this video, I'm going to tell you why you most likely, probably, don't need one. So what am I talking about? Apple Watches and Android Watches from Android Wear and Android Wear Gen 2 are the things of the future. When they first came out, we all thought that having phones on our wrists would be amazing. However, in this case, it does nothing but be a watch. The Moto 360 was renowned for its robust and uh, advanced technologies that were inside it. However, mine seems to only want to use as a watch. Every time I try and connect it to my phone, it disconnects, and I actually have a Samsung Galaxy S7 right here uh, that I'm actually wirelessly charging off on the side because I'm a bad person and I always forget to charge it. But in all honesty, should you buy an Apple Watch or an Android Watch? Are smartwatches even worth it? The answer is no in the long run because the time that it takes to try and set up your watch, set it up and get it synchronized and all that, and to get used to it, get in the rhythm of it. And sometimes, yes, it will have technical issues. And those technical issues can sometimes be crippling to your experience. And at the end of the day, I always film myself, instead of looking at my watch, I would actually pull out my phone and look at that for the time, even though I had the watch on. Now, I am a little weird, and I've never really liked watches, but honestly, looking at a watch normally, I mean, it's fine if it's a normal watch, but these are smart watches. The only reason I bought this is because it dropped under $100 the other day, or the other month. And I bought it for about 80 bucks. That's the only reason I got this, which I will be selling it as soon as I can. Because, honestly, it's not worth it. Android Wear is weak at its best. And not every application supports it, and it feels bulky on the wrist, and frankly, it's just not my size. But even furthermore, it just doesn't feel good. Like, whenever I buy like a simple Timex watch from Walmart, or a Casio even, I look at it and I go, this looks and feels great. However, Moto 360 Gen 1, it just didn't feel good on the wrist. It felt that it was bulky and that it kind of grinded into my wrist. And if I didn't have it that tight, it felt like it was falling off. And don't even get me started on the whole heartbeat sensors and all that. They're just gimmicks. They don't work on my model. Now, I could be one in a million and... I don't have the best of luck, but in all honesty, it just doesn't work. So, should you buy one? Are they good for you? Well, it depends. Are you in a place where it would benefit you to have a watch rather than a phone? Personally, I see nothing wrong with walking around on your phone and making sure that you know, you actually see your notifications on your notification screen. I mean, that's kind of why it's there. And the half-baked operating system that is Android Watch and Apple Watch OS, um, both of those operating systems seem to be very bloated. It could just be me with the Motorola experience. However, I just don't feel that it's worth it. In the long run, I would save the $100 that it costs to buy one of these and just buy a better smartphone. Buy the Galaxy S7 or the S8 when it comes out. 
get a couple accessories for it. A longer charge cable, a fast charge cable even. Um, or not a fast charge cable, but a fast charger. Uh, even a uh, fast wireless charging dock. At the end of the day, it's going to cost you less than the Apple Watch or the Android Watch that you want, and you'll be able to actually put it towards something that you want. Not something that you may use once or twice and then leave it on a shelf for the rest of your life. So this has been Stacklin Studio. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. If you didn't, be sure to hit that dislike button and tell me why down below. If you agree or disagree, also tell me down below uh, as to why you disagree or why you agree because it's a discussion. I want to know your guys' opinion as much as you want to know mine. So without further ado, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.